Alright guys, today I'm doing a unboxing of the Santiva water pitcher here. Um, and these are the water filters that you have to buy separately. Uh, but if you guys don't know what a Santiva water pitcher is, it's basically alkaline water. Uh, it's an easy way to get your alkaline water uh, via a pitcher, just like a, like a Brita water filter. So I'll have people asking me, oh, you know, have I ever used alkaline water? And I have. I actually do have a machine and if you look at my older videos, uh, you'll see the I, I've got the Jupiter alkaline water machine. Uh, the only thing is, um, it's really like it's cumbersome to install and uh, sort of plug in and everything. So this is a little bit easier. As well, it's real, way less expensive. This is this is cheap. This is very very cheap. Okay, so uh, compared to the uh, uh, compared to um, the alkaline water machine. So the Santiva pitcher, so if you look here, the filter could be used um, for a lot of, pretty much uh, has a double longevity than a regular filter. It does alkaline uh, the water and it has some calcium magnesium and other beneficial minerals. Um, nine cups of water will fit into here, okay, as you can see there. And here's the side panel. If you guys want to see how to install it, which I will show you how to install it here. Uh, so you want to run the water for about two minutes through the filter. And then step two, insert the filter and then fill the water with the uh, to the top there. And then replace the filter in about two months. So that's about it. Um, so basically it also, uh, you can test it with litmus paper or, or, or phenol red. Basically that's what you want to use. Test your pitcher's pH, use phenol red drops. Lumen paper cannot be used to measure pH of water. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I wonder why. So, generally, you can use pH paper to, or even uh, urine uh, dipsticks uh, will also measure pH. Um, but, because I've done it, I've done it on my Jupiter one and it does it just fine i wonder so like i said i'm gonna do a full review of this uh once i get some use out of it and i'll really i'll test it out with my uh strips that i have so so basically chlorine reduction which is a really good bonus there um improves taste eco-friendly all the alkaline zinc uh, adds essential minerals reduces the um, uh, filter for uh, 30, oh, 303 uh, liters basically is a good for the filter there. So, and okay, let's open the box, guys. There we go. Comes with a Santiva help thing. Alright, let's open, let's get this picture out. So here is the picture itself. I wonder if it comes with a filter in here. Uh, let's see. Here is the picture itself as you can see. Um, you can set it. Uh, it'll tell you when it's set. I think there's a little bit of battery in here. I'm not sure. Oh there's a filter in there. Okay, so filter's already in there. Uh, and Pretty sure, uh, yeah, that's a that's battery op battery powered there. It'll keep that. And so there's no litmus paper or anything or phenol drops that they have. So you can't, I can't test it. But I will bring a uh, urine um, dipstick uh, check on it. So, and then I'll see for sure if it comes up. Like I said, I've done it on uh, on my water machine. So it should. We'll see if it turns up or not. So, okay guys, uh, so stay tuned. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a full review of this uh, just to get some use out of it. And then uh, I'll let you know. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to get the updates on this. And this is just extra filters that I'll be trying it out. If you have any questions, comments, post below. All right guys, today I'm doing my review on my Santiva water filter. Um, I've, I've been meaning to try to finish off the, uh, the video, but uh, I was waiting for this. So. This is a pH strip um, paper. Now they, they say not to use pH strips to uh, test for the alkalinity. Um, I have that's all I have, so I'm just gonna test it, see if it makes a huge difference. Um, 
I was just curious. Um, so I've been having this filter for a while, and and I because of I've had this filter for a while. Um, I got to you know get to do first hand on it. Um, and if you look at it right now, it is slightly green. Yeah, so I've had first hand using the the uh, the filter and and my finger was holding that right so that's the original color and there's the water that's from the picture so I'm getting a about uh, probably about a seven which is neutral this part's a little bit darker so maybe seven seven point two um, which is you know neutral now. Like I said, they claim not to use uh, peach strips, but you know, technically, uh, it's it's a you know it's, it's pretty pH neutral. So how would I well how would I rate this uh, water built pitcher? Well, it's great. Uh, the water tastes good out of it, so um, that's what really matters to me. The alkalinity doesn't really matter too much to me. But uh, if you're looking for a good water pitcher. Um, you know, one that tastes good and you want a little bit of alkalinity, maybe this is something you want to look into. Um, if you have any questions, comments, guys, post them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.